For the eighth use case, I am using an adjusted version of the coffee chain dataset that was originally used in the white paper. This dataset is all about coffee and tea sales. Each record in this data source has profit and target profit. In this example, we will show how to calculate the proportion of products that meet their targets, as well as how to break this down to identify exactly which of the products met their targets and which products didn't. As a reminder, LOD expressions or level of detail expressions allow you to control the granularity or the level of detail of your expression. We usually resort to LODs when our viz or our charts have different levels of granularity than the calculations that we need. If you need an LOD expressions refresher, please check out another comprehensive tutorial I have on this topic. It starts from the basics and goes through the different types of LODs and the implications of the order of operations with LODs. I've also provided a link in the card above and description down below. Let's set up some basic charts first so that we can see exactly what we want to accomplish for this use case. Let me bring over state. And for now, let's display profit and target profit. Let's also create a calculated field that tells us the difference between profit and target profit. Let's call this difference. And this is profit minus target profit. And let's display this as well. Let's sort this chart by the difference. And let's also count the number of products. So we can right click drag product onto our columns and select count distinct. So right now, what we are seeing is the profit for each state, the target profit. From this chart, we can also tell which states actually exceeded their target and which states did not. And for now, we are also displaying the number of products. Let's quickly display all the labels. Here we are seeing that there are nine products for Iowa, but what we also want to see is the proportion of these nine products, how many of these nine products met their target profit and how many did not. And again, the challenge in here is we don't want to show the individual products in the final viz. Now, just to visualize what we are trying to accomplish, if we bring over product, let's sort the difference again. We can see that for Iowa, there are four products of the original nine products met their target profit and the rest did not meet their target profit. So we want to be able to report this in our viz. So let's clean this up a bit and let's create some additional calculated fields. Let's take away product and let's also take away sum of profit and the target profit. Let's now create a calculated field that allows us to see the difference between profit and target profit, but this time per product. And we're going to use an include LOD. So on the drop down, create calculated field. Let's call this difference of profit versus target. And this is per product. In here, let's include product. It's going to be the sum of the difference. Let's click OK. Now let's try to answer the question, how many of these products per state actually met their target profit? And in here, let's use another calculated field. Let's call this the number of products that met target. How do we know the products met their target? Well, if the difference is greater than zero. So if this particular difference is greater than zero, Let's output one and then let's end this. So let's say we have three products, product one, product two, product three. If product one met its target, it's going to get one. If product two did not meet its target, it's just going to be null. And then product three, if it met its target, it's also going to be one. Now what we want to do in here is we want to sum this up. We want to add one and one because there are two products that met the target. So in this case, we're simply going to enclose the whole thing in a sum. sum and let's click OK. Let's display this number of products that met target. And these are the numbers that we want. We can see that four products out of the nine products met their target. And if we wanted to calculate the percentage, we can easily do that now because we have all of the fields that we need in that equation. So one more calculated field. Let's create a calculated field that's called percent of products that met target. And in here, it is simply this number of products that met target divided by the total number of products for that state. Let's click OK. 
Let's change the formatting, right click, default properties, number format, simply going to be a percentage. We can leave it as zero decimal places and we can also display this if we want. So we can see that four divided by nine is 44%, 44% of those products met their target. Let's create a details worksheet. Let's put this in a dashboard so that it's easy for us to verify if our numbers are correct. So for this one, let's put our product in. Let us put the profit. Let's remove the labels. Let's add the target as a reference line. So target profit onto details. Let's go to analytics, reference line. Let's add this per cell. Let's also color code this. So if the product met the target, it's going to have a different color than the one that did not meet its target. So create one more calculated field that we are going to use both for label and color. So on the drop down, create calculated field. Let's call this met target. And this is simply an if statement. If the profit is greater than or equal to the target profit, then we're just going to call this met target. Else did not meet target. Let's click OK. Let's use this as both a label as well as color. And let's just make some adjustments to color. And this is what we have. Let us now put these two charts in a dashboard. Drag these two over. Let's put our details at the bottom. Let's close the legends. Let's add our filter action. So let's try it out. Looks like for New York, there are six products out of eight that met the target. Therefore, there are two products that did not meet the target. So if we click on New York right now, we get six products that met the target and two of those products did not meet the target. Let's try one more. Louisiana, there are three products that met the target. We have one, two, three. There are total seven products, which means there are four products that did not meet the target.